Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the second match of the day. Oh, and we're jumping into map one immediately. And we see Focus uh, not enjoying his time here at the start. Tried to go for the lab creep with the rock golem. It's always a risk against Anna because they always will be scouting with an acolyte. And that failed. And that costs a lot of time. Thank you, Ralphus, with the resub. Yeah, we're on Twisted Metals here on map one. The biggest map we have, the most creeps we have. This is where the late game and high level heroes with the decked out inventory can really come to play. Which is something that the org really likes to do, if he's allowed to get there. Honestly, both against Night Elf and against Orc at the moment, the playstyle for Anad seems to look rather similar. You try to creep up early, go for a fast tech, get the levels and items you can, and then go for a frenzy ghoul timing push. And uh, that seems to work especially well against Night Elf at the moment. Orcs though, with reinforced defenses, with watchtowers, with burrows, have possibly a strong defensive setup against it. Oh, Happy even playing perfectly around the last hit. So far, looking very on point. Happy Face 1 Orc in the lower bracket already against Lin in the best of five. He also was successful and uh, dropped only a single map. That map was Twisted Meadows, where Lin looked definitely very solid, but the other three maps and the win went to Happy in the end. The Grunt is an important unit here. Don't want to lose that early, but Happy is so good to use the surrounds. What is it earlier? Um, missed the surrounds sometimes. But Happy is not missing them yet. First Grunt goes down. At least it forced lots of mana out of the DK. And the Orc tech is faster. Honestly, maybe it's not even the worst. Losing a grunt always looks bad. You also have to consider, though, what it means, what it cost. And Happy wasn't creeping for a long time. He used lots of his mana to get the kill. So, yeah, maybe it's not that terrible for focus. He will still have three grunts later with the Shadow Hunter coming. Whoa! He's not going tier three. He is going double B Siri, which must mean Wyvern. Coil secures the last hit. Grunt's still surrounded. Oh, look at the movement here by Happy. Look at the movement! Grunt does slip out in the end, but almost had him fully trapped there. Or maybe it's gonna be Mass Raider Hit and Run? But Frenzy Ghouls are very, very good against Raiders. Happy wants the next Grunt. Willing to lose lots of HP for it. And is denied in the end, but it's still two grunts down. Blade Master still only level one. He didn't get the best items. He didn't even buy a circlet, surprisingly. Happy falling back at the turf at the perfect time. We know the Shadow Hunter is approaching. So it's one raider first. It doesn't have to be mass raiders necessarily. Although, of course, it could be. Would love if Happy brought a heal potion on the DK. Or, well, you know, bring it on the Lich for the DK. Just to be safe. Alright, focus creeping the natural early. Seems like he's gonna try to play expansion with the raider hit and run. Oh, item stolen maybe? Oh yeah, he did! He stole the circlet with the blade, nicely done. Oh, we can see the DK has a big experience lead. Level 3 
over only level one on the blade. And there's the expansion. Oh, happy scouting with a skelly. Oh, but I think it's gonna get intercepted. Happy may not realize the expansion is happening here. But seeing two raiders out this early is kind of suspicious already. Blade Master now completely out of mana. Oh, and trying for the creep jack. Shows up with the raiders, the end snare is there, and it's gonna force a TP. And it's going to give the camp to Focus. Gets a ghoul as well. Great creep, Jack. Wonderful timing by Focus. Just before the orb and frenzy was ready. A bad item again for him, though. Belt of Giant Strength. Not really what he wanted. Alright, now it's Wyvern coming. To counter Wyvern, an alchemist can be very effective. Yeah, I think Alchemist would be the perfect call here. But it is the Dark Ranger. Good old, trusty Dark Ranger. She always works. And the Shadowhunter has good intelligence here. Plus 9 int from the items. But the expansion is ready yet. And Happy is showing up for the Frenzy push. Nine minutes. That's the timer. Focus is a supply lead, but of course he's down a hero, and he's down a tech. And perhaps most importantly, he doesn't have level threes yet. Speed scroll. Charging in. He's going to take out one statue right away. That's very good. The damage on the Lich seems to be minimal. Well, Nova on the blade. He's just dead. Didn't have man to get out. Didn't have a speed scroll anymore. Easy execute there. And the expansion is scouted just as it finished. Happy could just send two frenzy ghouls over there and they'll deal with it by themselves. Supply here. Very deceptive. According to the supply, Focus has the lead, but of course that is not the case. This expansion did not pay off, and now Focus is stuck on tier 2, and in a very rough spot. Very rough. Plus 12 int on the shadow. That's kind of cool. But the tier 2 versus tier 3 playstyle is almost impossible to work. To make work. Happy now has a huge lead. was given to the DK. So now all hero all three heroes can attack the air units. And the coil nova hurts. One after the next the wyvern are being taken out. They have good damage, but they're always very squishy. And I always feel like the biggest problem with tier two Blade Master is you don't have an orb of venom. There's no way to counter the frost armor. Focus is still trying whatever he can, but Happy is in such a commanding position here. Just a few ghouls are going down every now and then, but that is totally fine in the eyes of Happy.
Focus can at least make bats very quickly, thanks to the double beastry that he has. But the problem is, even if the bats kill the air units, if it's down to the heroes and the statues in the end, plus grants and stuff, the undead will come out on top, especially if the levels are there. If Happy gets 4 3 3, this game is unwinnable, I would say, for Focus. It's already looking tough. Maybe now, maybe now there's still a chance. Alright, here come the bats. The gargoyle taken out right away. Destroyer also in trouble. But the ghouls on the ground, very strong. There's no AoE to deal with the mass ghouls on the battlefield. No TC here, obviously. Even going for a Berserker. That's a rare sight. Instead on the DK. Trying to perhaps force a TP. The Blade Master's damage seems to be terrible. Doesn't have much in terms of items. He's not even level 3 yet. Here come the bats though. That's one more kill. But the ground fight seemed to go to Happy so easily. Death now not level 4. Lich very close as well to level 3. And the Frost Armor is so, so, still so good. Mirror Image. Wow. Mirror image play by focus. Against destroyers, normally the mirror images don't do so well. But yeah, it looked like a bit of a desperate play. Big mana potion found, level 3 acquired. And now, the red camp in his sights. And these red camps are super easy to creep with destroyers. As one can plainly see. Item for Happy, the Cadgas Gem of Health. Not bad. To protect one of his heroes. And also now, Dark Ranger 3. And that's a big level up for the level 2 Black Arrow. Coil Nova now being used against the bad riders. And still looking rough for focus. I think even if he had an expansion, he would be disadvantaged here. But of course, he doesn't even have... Oh! He disjointed the coil with the justify the means. That was kind of cool. But still happy is getting such better trades. And the Blade Master is a joke. With all, all of corruption, I mean, uh, all of lightning. Trying to go for the big play now. Trying to kill the Lich. But with the Cutgus Gem, this guy's pretty tanky. Wait, Cutgus Gem plus Circlet plus the Ring. That's 375 bonus HP. That's pretty sick. Oh, and so many are dying in the meantime. At least gets a statue in the end. It's 32 supply, buddy. Against 52. Focus hoping for the crits. It's only a crit for 90. Not really that scary. He's going for Brook. Happy as a Zeppelin protecting his DK. It is ensnared, but I don't think he really minds too much. Shadowhunter and Blade, both super hurt, trying with the Hex, trying to get this DK. 
and finally take him out. But I think it's the blade who dies first. And it's the GG called. Alright, gets the turtles. Blade Master, of course, a hero who only really excels if he gets the right items. That is always the gamble with a blade. He can be extremely strong in the late game. And also pretty potent early and mid game. But he only really shows his true potential if he does get the right items. DK also can benefit from good items, but doesn't really rely on them as heavily as the Blade does by any means. Blade Master, along with Demon Hunter, one of the most level reliant, I mean, uh, item reliant heroes in the game. And folks being aggressive early. Doesn't want to let that happy creep too easily. And the tech, of course, in the orc's favor, as always with the one burrow tech. Happy setting out the ghouls to the green camp. This could be the perfect opportunity to go for cannibalize. We've been seeing a little bit of cannibalize recently, as it was recently buffed. Blade Master tried to steal the last hit, but couldn't quite manage. And again, great movement, unhappy with the ghouls. Not only did he lose no ghouls, but also he made sure not to have to waste too much mana for the coils. Focus is making sure that the DK isn't creeping too much, but also the blade has hardly crept anything. And again, it's a double beastery. Focus once more, not trying with a straight up one base. Happy gets the item though. It's the ring. Not bad for the DK. Was trying with the surround here with the grunts, but that's very hard to manage. But the Shadowhunter is popping out any second. Happy might be overextending his welcome here a bit. When Shadow comes with a hex, there's definitely kill potential on the ghouls. <laughs> But Happy again falls back right as the Shadow was about to arrive. He was scouting in the main base with the Acolyte, so I think he saw when the Shadow popped out. I think you'll unhit with the resub as well. There we go. Gets the Hex. And that should finally be a kill. Oh, but it's even denied. <laughs> Man, Happy is not giving much of an opening here, is he? He's got the Skelly close by to get a last hit with a coil. Oh, sick! Okay. Okay. Happy definitely showing up today. 
And now waiting for the Lich. Delayed him by quite some time. That means also Focus should be able to get this camp. DK again close by and trying to coil. But that's what the Hex is there for. I th wait, I think he missed the Ogre Warrior lasted as well. I think Focus actually got it. Oh, trying to get the DK. With the speed scroll, there's one more Windwalk. But now there is Frost Armor and no more mana for the next Hex. Not bad for Focus though. He's got double level 2. And he also forced Frost Armor first, so no Nova danger here at the start of the tier 2 phase. And with Wyvern, Focus can creep quite quickly, potentially. And Appy is forced to creep the turtle camp here, the Murloc turtle camp, early on, which is not really what you want. There's much better camps with better items, better experience out on this map, but Happy feels himself a bit behind, so he's playing it slow and safe right now. Lots of Wyvern, by the way. No Raider just yet. But one now is coming. And again, it's going to be the Tier 2 expansion. Just like on map 1. The early game certainly looked a bit different. It certainly looked a bit better for focus. But the strat here still seems to be the same. The frenzy is now finished. Destroyer form also about to be done. Happy already has the Orb of Corruption. And gets the scroll of the beast, which for the push is not going to be bad. This time we have the alchemist. Gives him the strength and ammo items right away. I like that a lot. Item on the ground! Oh my god, Focus forgot the big item from the camp. Big invuln. Oh my god, dude. What? I mean, I understand if you forget about the tome. Oh, but the big end one. Yikes. And the expansion is also cancelled. So the game plan doesn't seem to be coming together perfectly. At least he didn't leave the big man on the ground. Shadowhunter picked that one up. Alright, this game again looking pretty similar to the last map. Focus trying to expand, but it doesn't really work, and now he's stuck on tier 2. Which is not where you want to be. Alright, one bad rider gets the connection. Of course, there's potentially a ton of minus armor with the orb and the acid bomb. Going over again, acid bomb also. Plus seven armor on the alchemist. And not to be forgotten, of course, he also has the invul. And stand the destroyer. That might be a kill. But then again, there's a coil, the wyvern being forced away, the orb again on the DK helping out. Some of this little tome on the ground. Alright. Now we got it. That fight could have been worse for focus though. I think he saved all of the wyvern. Took out quite a few gargs with the bats.
一位玩家的部队正遭到攻击。Now we slow down for a moment. Creeping continues. Big item. What is it? The drums. Not bad. There's no quotas, so I guess this bonus damage is going to be worth quite something. And focus has good hero levels now. Double level four. With okay items on the blade. It's not amazing. But it's decent. Alchemist now with plus eight armor before frost armor, mind you. Alright, next item. Class plus 12? No. But, uh, Helm of Valor. That's also very, very good for the blade. He's got 1150 HP. Jesus Christ. 40 strength. Tanky blade. Ten supply lead for focus. You got the bad riders. One connects, two connects, and a third. And there's still a little bit more bad riders. But in the end, there's still destroyers up in the air, and the wyvern again having to run. DK ensnared, targeted, and surrounded. And he has to TP. Also, I'm quite impressed with focus. Staying alive with tier two against tier three is very hard to manage. So far it's working. But the concern is what when the hero levels reach really high states. If Happy gets to 5, 4, 3, at that point having only dual hero is going to be a big concern for focus. And of course, especially, he doesn't have Orb of Lightning. He doesn't have Purge against the Frost Armor late game. Happy doesn't have a TP, by the way. Maybe an opportunity for Focus to trap his opponent. Happy's army consisting almost entirely of destroyers. Focus needs heal scrolls, though, I think. Against the Acid Bomb and Nova. Some more healing might be needed. Of course, he's got the heal wave. But he must, or he, he might, rather, he might need more. Colonova, Acid Bomb. There you see the spells being so effective against the air units. Some bad riders connecting, but it seems to be never quite enough bats. Again, going for the DK. But he's got so many rings, dude. He's got Frost Armor. He is way too tanky. It's the Alchemist now, he doesn't have rings anymore. 272 crit. Big damage coming out from the blade. Another crit would be the kill, but the Invuln is there last second. Well, one destroyer goes down though. Focus has supply lead still. And he's got double level 5 now. 260 crit. Oh, he's not going for the Lich, he's going for the statue. Knows the DK there is ready. Dude, focus. Is he really making this work? Tier 2 versus Tier 3. I feel like Happy would be in a much better position if he just went Fiends. <laughs> I feel like going Gargs is an unnecessary risk. He's been playing a lot less Fiends in this matchup nowadays. But I think that's mainly because Fiends suffer, especially in the late game, against Tier 3 and TC Stomp. But there's no tier 3 here. There's no stomp here. Fiends would have actually been really good. I 
and the alchemist seems to have fallen off a bit. Focus again, trying with the expansion. Double level fives. The Blade Master found two really, really good items. The helm and the big claws. And those have been helping. Have been helping a lot. The first shade is out. We'll be finding the expansion. And I think Focus also has both wards at the shop, right? That gives him tons of vision and information and makes it rather easy for him to get those invulns. Happy was banking a lot, though. A thousand gold already and still getting more. He'll be able to build a big army. I still think Fiends and Web would be a really easy transition. But it doesn't look like Happy is actually going to go that route. If he just goes Fiends here, he negates the effect of all of the bad riders. And there's plenty of them. Six already out, and number seven and eight on the way. Yep, Fiends is definitely the right way to go. <laughs> but he's not doing it. He's going for the third armor upgrade on the Gargs. And it's just going to go Mass Gargs Destroyers. Focus has a good chance here to win this game. And I am quite impressed. Winning this kind of a game, Tier 2 versus Tier 3, is so hard. Expansion now up. He's going to have a huge army. Can probably also afford some heal scrolls. And Focus... In a good position here to take map 2. Honestly, very stubborn by happy not to go fiends. The shade spots the enemy army. Focus hasn't won yet. If Happy takes a great fight and he evens out the supply and he's going to have crazy hero levels, he can still win this. Still lots of gold on Happy here. He's going to get close to 80 supply himself. Gargs take quite a long time to produce. Harry should at least go for one attack upgrade. It's very cheap. Alright, here comes the expansion. The mains have expired. And with the end snares here, it's easy to find a few pickoffs. Love the play. Oh, two bad riders though, don't find the kill. That's the three armor upgrades coming into play. Happy is trying to split his air units as much as he can. 
Bad Riders flying in, connecting. It is very chaotic what's going on right now. Supply is still pretty even. But now all the Bad Riders are gone. The Destroyers are in the air, reigning supreme it seems like. Happy getting more experience, getting more level up. Switch now, level 4. And Focus has to TP out. The heroes survive, but most of the Wyvern are gone. Happy at 51 supply still, and the expansion will be finishing. The triple armor upgrades really coming into play here. And of course, worth remembering, Focus still doesn't have tier 3 and no orb. That also means not only does they have not purge, but he can't attack air units with the Blade Master either. Oh, the Shade spots him. It looked quite stubborn to not go Fiends. And I'm still pretty sure Fiends would have worked out better. Focus now trying to go for the hero kill. DK is pretty tanky, but there's no Frost Armor. Now there is. Invuln transferred another crit. And the Invuln is needed. Frost Armor was definitely a bit too late there. There than it could have been. But the Blade Master's damage cannot be underestimated. Kolnova now to threaten him, but there's an Invuln. And I think the Alchemist is just dead. With the next critical strike. Oh! Almost! It does go down right now. And there's still a heal wave. Lots of heal wave. Just go for the heroes. That's the way to do it. DK does not have mana for a coil. Opportunity right now to win. Hex on the Death Knight. But there's a dispel. One ensnare invuln forced. There's so many ensnares. There must be more ensnares. What? Focus didn't quite get the kill. Trying still for the Lich. The Frost Armor here again is so good. He's almost got the mana for the coil, but not quite yet. The DK is hiding around the corner, but there's the crit! And the DK is surrounded. Okay, whew, and there we go. Finally, Focus gets the win. Man, <laughs> how hard one man has to work to take a map off of Happy. Whew, sigh of relief. But no, it's the blade again. And that could mean a tier 2 expansion, possibly, again. Happy this time, not going to the shop early. I feel like that was a big risk that he took in the past. And like that, Focus is the one going to the shop right away. Grabbing the circuit for himself. Doesn't have heal cells early, though. So he can't really fight the undead just yet. So it's just gonna go for a bit of creeping at the start. Circlet and Ring of Superiority. Pretty good. Shadows, it's not gonna be that wonderful for the blade, but he got some experience just as the DK. Death Knight now on level 2, finding claws and ring. Oh, and the blade master ready to harass in the main base, but there's a narrow tower, so there's actually pretty much nothing you can do here. Happy continuing to creep quite quickly. Happy might get level 3 here in just a moment. Wait, is that enough, the turtles? Yeah, that is enough. Unless the Blade Master can arrive in time to steal the last set, but I think Happy's gonna secure it. Oh, could be a big moment! But Happy does indeed secure it with that coil. Item as well, Wand of Illusion. And some ghouls. Sent home. Scary position for focus. Level 1 versus level 3 right now. That's of course never good. Grunt's taking the rest of the green. That's gonna be at least level 2. Right? Should be. <laughs> I 
actually making use of the Cloak of Shadows. Alright, same strat again. Double beast three by focus. I wonder if Happy this time has a different adjustment. I think early on, Gargs are good as a counter. Because you don't have the necessary number of fiends out right away. But once you cancel the expansion and the game slows down and you have lots of time for production, I think that's when you really should swap into fiends then. Some good experience here on the blade. Almost got level 3. Oh, but might be getting caught. Happy is close by. The DK with a level 2 coil locked and loaded. Get a big mana potion as well. Exactly what he was hoping for. But no lich out yet. Just a couple of skellies. Happy here doesn't have an opportunity to actually go for a big kill. Oh, but the one of illusion cancelling healing twice. And the skellies cancelling healing as well a third time on the grunts. That is quite annoying. And Focus knows the Lich is supposed to be out any second now. Also continuing to creep, going for the big consumable here at the red camp. Oh, item on the ground. Always dangerous against the blade, but he gets it. Book of the Dead is actually really good against this tier 2 orc stuff. Focus finds his opponent. Takes out one ghoul. Not bad. And we have the expansion coming up again. All right, Blade Shadow Double Beast Three expansion. This is Focus's new playstyle. Against exactly this, Ted Fiend build would be really good, by the way. Frenzy being upgraded. And armor upgrades very early this time. Also early shades this time. Oh. Creeps ensnaring the ghouls here. Focus doesn't want to fight against the creeps though. Would love to have the creeps on his side. Except the uh, Happy's army at the moment still looking rather small. Focus with the visible lead. Oh, coil but no Nova. That's one coil wasted on the bad riders, and we have some bad riders already. Frost armor though. On the gargoyles. And it's the alchemist again. So the gargs with frost armor and the upgrade that was researched have plus five armor. Basically. A 
a ton of frost armor here being used. I think Happy's starting to realize how good frost armor is without an orb of lightning. Yeah, the thing is, with frost armor plus the one armor upgrade, the gargs don't get one shot by the bats anymore. Wait, is that true? Okay, I'm not sure about that actually. Maybe that's not exactly true. Oh, Blade Master, they're almost going down, he dies! Blade Master falls, he had the invuln! Oh, focus. With a big slip up, he panicked and went for the Windwalk runaway. But he was revealed and happy, just like that. The Acolyte Scout sees what's going on right away. Happy's still going for the shop creep, which seems a bit risky. The Fasir is heading north, and it's going to dissuade the rest of the camp. Happy's going to get the big creep. Sentry wards. But the Fasir is here to harass. Good start so far for focus at the very beginning. Almost getting a ghoul. But the coil is there. It's going to be a big tech lead for fo focus. He was a one borrowed tech only. No headhunters, just Farseer. And he also skipped the shop at the start. So it's going to be indeed very fast here too. Which could open the way for Shadowhunter second and Wyvern. Would absolutely love to see some last hits here. But Happy is not allowing it yet. Looking at the tier 2 difference, that's like one and a half minutes or something like that. Oh, and the fast here does get one last hit finally. That's almost level 2. Just needs a skelly now. Happy could creep the green camp here with the ghouls and keep harassing with a DK. Oh, that's level 2 fast here. He didn't use the chain lightning yet. It seems like there's no valuable target here anymore. But the DK's level 3 has been delayed. And I think he's not going to be able to get it at the green either. Some of it has already been crept away. Easy kill on the grunt, but good deny again. And that's a big deal for the level 3. Oh! And he got that one as well! Focus with a really solid game here so far. But against that many ghouls, it's very hard not to get the grunts surrounded. Can he get the deny? Nope, not this time. Oh, TC with a stomp, possibly. One ghoul goes down, could be a second. Wait, it was two ghouls going down. Could have been a third. But yeah, two ghouls, sniped early, and TC and Wyvern. Wow. I haven't seen that in a long time. TC, Wyvern, the good old ladder strat that was played there ad nauseum. Oh, the pull fails, and so does the stomp. 
That feels kind of bad. Oh, and Happy's close by. Oh, this could be a disaster. But the DK is quite hurt and not yet level 3. But the ghouls are going to be changing that any moment. There we go. Ghouls were creeping up. Getting the XP. And Happy has a sentry here now, giving him perfect vision. Sentry placed again. Happy could try to throw a coil from behind the trees. That's what he does. Didn't get that one, though. A bit of a whiff on the second coil. That is a big deal. The TC can be strong in the late game, but he does certainly need the levels. Is on the fossil. And here you can see Happy is waiting to pounce on the expansion creep. Here on Concealed Hill, creeping the expansion is difficult. Oh, the fossil could block the Ogre Lord with his invis. Oh, that's sick. Wait. Is he going to try to block it or is he going to try to steal it? Oh. Allows the trap. I think that was a mistake. I think Focus should have just... Okay, I guess he's gonna get the item. But only if Happy doesn't use the coil. I mean, uh, the last hit. Chain Lightning. Okay, big play. Big players make big plays. Oh, he got them both! Chain Lightning gets the last hit and the item. Wow. That was sick. Okay. Okay. Okay, Focus. That was crazy. Pog champ. Pog champ. And the TC crept the natural. The expansion is now coming. Colonova. By Bad Rider. All right, here we go. Alchemist again. Big last hit. This one goes to Happy. Gets the experience and the item. Big healing for him. Not bad. Ooh, the Acid Bomb Nova doing a lot of damage. Jesus Christ, the Wyvern all so hurt right away. TC trying for the stomp, but hits only a single gargoyle. Happy's positioning on the guard on the rules, I mean. Excellent. And of course the issue is the wolves don't do much anymore here against destroyers. Time for the expansion was bought. The fast here is gonna be falling off more and more. The three on the TC and the big invuln got some good upgrades. Oh, nice stomp. And again, the coil perhaps a bit too early, but the acid bomb also hit. Oh, here come the bats. One and two. Get the connection. 
And it's the destroyer going down. Alchemist in trouble now. And there's no interval to save him. Oh, there was the heal potion, though. And now we can see the wolves really falling off. The wolves have no impact anymore, seemingly. Coil gets one kill. Next raider in trouble as well. There's an acid bomb. Focus is mining off of two bases, though. And he's got lots of bats coming. But happy starting to get there with the levels. DK level 4, and both Lich and Alchemist getting closer to 3. More mana potions. Here come the bats. Oh, didn't get the destroyer. Oh, the destroyer is safe with the coil. Couldn't target it down fast enough. The one armor upgrade seemingly was good enough. Nova acid bomb and coils flying onto the wyvern. That one might be ticking down. And I think it did. Next wyvern in trouble as well. And they're just being picked apart, these wyvern. Train lightning not good enough to get the ghoul kills either. The Fossier really starting to show his late game weakness. Focus lost a lot of supply right there. Down to only 40. At least he's mining. But for how much longer? Happy's going to give him more time to mine the expansion. I'm just going to creep up a bit more. And there's also a camp that's very easy to do with destroyers. Focus showing up for the creep jack. And Happy hasn't killed the Drake yet. Could be a good position for Focus. The item still up for grabs. 50 supply against 50. And Happy might be giving the camp to focus freely. Ah, no, he's not backing up just yet. Again, next wiring falls. One destroyer, I think, was also taken out at least. TC in trouble next, but has the invuln. It's a big one. He's almost level 4 as well. And the DK. DK might be in trouble here. With the chain lightning, perhaps the opportunity for a kill. Chain lightning's there. DK on 30 HP, 20 HP, and running. Oh my god. 20 HP just barely gets away. Out of nowhere. Focus with the opportunity to win possibly this game. Gets a lynch kill. That's a double level up. Happy struggling now with low mana. And see on the destroyer. Focus. Moving forward. Looking for his opportunity. Some good denies in there as well. And Happy lost a lot right there. And the destroyer. All of a sudden down to 33. How did this turn around so fast? He's going to grab the invuln. And there we go. Focus all of a sudden on the way to bring us to a third, uh, a fifth map. Fifth and final map. But now Happy will have the 4-3-3 levels for the next engagement. Claws of attack for the Lich as well. Focus has the double heal scroll. And he's gonna get the big item right here. Bracers, not bad at all. For Happy, it's a flute of accuracy, which is okay, I guess, for the destroyers. 
Wait, is it only one damage on the Destros? No, it's two damage. Okay. Happy bringing everything. All the ghouls, everything is marching south. Focus though has a big army. 63 supply and counting still. So much gold on Focus needs to spend it. Quickly. Make grunts, make something. Four destroyers in the air. Can the bats take him out? DC trying to get off the big stomp. The ghouls are being split in multiple different ways. Acid bomb. Oh my god. Hit everything. Everything was clumped up for the acid bomb. Happy splitting his army as best as he can. But there was enough kills. Level 5s are reached. TC and Farseer both. Big stomp. Going for the DK. Possibly the trail lightning is doing huge damage. And the last destroyer is going to be taken out. And that means the wolves again can be effective. Focus. With the fast here out of nowhere. He's got an immense supply lead. Absolutely huge supply lead. DK getting targeted. And snares flying. DK might be dead. With a chain lightning. That's it. GG. Damn. Focus. Makes it work. There we go. Tier 2 already begun. Doom train with the resub, thank you. Happy now with a much faster tech. Happy has skipped the narrow tower. We're saving some resources. Want to make sure not to be so far behind the tech as he was on the last map. Oh. Happy, does he see the Fossier creeping? Yes, he does. Oh, that's not good for the Fossier. This is an easy last hit for the DK. Right click, coil, gets the kill as well. Focus with the big risk with the creep route. That is very questionable. Of course, if you can steal that away from the opponent, take that experience for yourself, prevent your opponent from getting it, it's great. But yeah, if it gets found out and stolen, this is so bad. The Fasu now has a super tough time getting to level 3. Or just level 2. I actually had to use a lot of mana already. Oh, the Arcane Tower is very late. So the ghouls might be able to chase down... Uh, the wolves, I mean, chase down the one ghoul. Uh, but then again, not really. Here's the DK. But Focus was able to force a lot of mana out of the opponent, that's for sure. Tier 2 now finished, TC is coming, and the double beastry. Lots of gold on Focus, didn't even invest into a war mill. Where are the grunts, by the way? There they are. Yu 
位玩家的部队正遭到攻击，一座基地正遭到围攻。Farsi are looking a bit underleveled this game. Seems like the expansion will still be the attempt, but Happy's right there. Happy's positioning this time absolutely impeccable. This early game is not looking good for focus at all. Next lasted for Happy. Two and a half. Oh, and the ghouls creeping on the side. This could be DK level three. Happy looking good now. Looking really good here on map 5. I think this is quite the big lead that the Russian was able to find for itself. Gets the level 3 here, picks up a big healing. TC only now level 2, with the Fast here also about to get it. And now Focus needs the expansion. But look at how late it is. Tier 3 for Happy, almost finished already. And we're gonna have Frenzy very, very soon. Here's the Peon. Oh, and Happy. Oh, didn't actually see it, perhaps. Oh, Torn Chieftain in trouble right away. The Invo Potion, it was only a small one, I think. Nova, right clicks, heal scroll needed. DK with the heal potion gets a grunt there as well. Stomp trying to cover the retreat. Happy gonna TP out now, but I think that's a win for Happy. He forced the Invo and the heal scroll just for the TC to survive. It cost him a big healing as well, but. Yeah, I would certainly say that favors Happy. He now he's going to pick up the orb, bring the ghouls with Frenzy. And it's a lot of ghouls, by the way. No third hero yet for Happy, but I think it's only a matter of time. And that expansion will be cancelled. And now that Happy has so much time for himself, I think now is where he should switch to Fiends. Cancel the Gargoyle, start web. Double level 3 is on focus, that's pretty good, but of course, playing tier 2 only on one base is not the best position. But he made it work earlier, dude. That Turtle Rock game, I am still impressed with that Turtle Rock game. Despite tier 2 only, he was able to win that game, but that, of course, with the le was a Blade Master. Level 5 Blade Master at the very end. The Lich is also looking like a beast. Double Claws, 
and possibly more to come still. Focus trying again with the expansion, but Happy knows about it right away. There we go. Breaks into upkeep now. It is more gargoyles. And more armor upgrades. Destroyers being morphed. Oh, what of illusion? I wonder if he bought that from the marketplace. Perhaps he did. And that expansion is cancelled again. Focus with a scroll of speed. He knows Happy doesn't have a TP. Oh, he's gonna try. He might try to go for the for the Black Citadel. Oh, or the Haunted. What's the better target? Maybe the Haunted is the better target. There we go. Flying in. Lots of bats. Oh my god, dude. This play coming out of nowhere. Happy must be getting surprised by this. Oh my god, the haunted is just gone. Oh my god, focus. He can kill more. Possibly. Takes out one tower. Takes out the destroyer. That took a lot of bad riders, though. Happy has to sell some items. To get gold for the haunted again. <laughs> Genius played by Focus. Keeps him in the game. Happy didn't remake it yet. Where's the Haunted? I need a bit more gold. Needs a little bit more gold from the creeps. That is, of course, such a huge gold advantage now going Focus's way. Item, Legion Doomhorn. Well, that is some gold. That is what, hope, what Happy needs right now. Genius by Focus. Realizing Happy didn't have a TP. Realizing with all the bats he could take out the Haunted. And that's going to be... Double level 4 for focus, that's not bad at all. Happy though, not discouraged, he's charging in. Glitch. A little late with the Nova. Bad eyes were able to connect, but some destroyers are still up in the air. That means the wolves still can't do much. Next stomp hits. Hard on the ghouls. Waiting for the next chain lightning. Where is it? There it is! Triple kill on the ghouls! Two destroyers though, still up. One more. <sighs> Barely saving itself. Wolves resummoned. DK almost surrounded. Happy TPing out, trying to save the statue. Oh. Important save on 21 HP. Focus lost more, but he had income the whole time to replace it. Man, quite the banger here for our last map. Great series between the two. Oh, the statue! The statue! Go back! Go back! Cameraman! Did he lose the statue to the creeps? Bro. Look at the army. No, okay. Statue on 50 HP was getting attacked by the creeps for a moment. Oh, the bats. Connecting. 
Literally almost level 4. He has crazy items. Ooh. Tense game. But the supplies are getting very even again. And that's not something that Focus likes to see. Sacrificial pit again. Thank you, Nanox, with a 10 euro donation. He says, still awesome. Thank you, thank you, my man. Very generous. All right, focus trying again with the expansion. And he still has lots of gold as well. Could easily pump into upkeep. And now he does. Happy only dual hero this time. No triple hero anymore. That also means the TC doesn't have to be concerned about a Dark Ranger's silence. Happy is close to the double level up. Sitting and banking. Turtling. This looks as if x -Lord was playing right now. Just sitting in the main base. Waiting patiently. Happy, of course, has much more gold left in his main. Happy lost the shade. Because the sentry wards. And with the third armor upgrade coming again for the destroyers. No more gargs, by the way. Only destroyers and ghouls. And I think that's the right call. I think the gargs just died too easily to the bats. Alright, this is it. Focus. Can he hold? If he can hold, he should win this game. He's also fairly close to double level fives. I am very impressed today with Focus. Not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna get smashed today. I'm glad to see this was not the case. That is a lot of destroyers though. We're going to have six destroyers in the air with three armor upgrades. Coil Nova, countered by a speed scroll. Supplying for focus, but not by much. Rules find their way towards the peons. They make quick work of them. And the wolves not doing anything. Here comes the first stomp. Takes out one ghoul right away. The ghouls, in fact, looking quite manageable. Oh, but the bad riders didn't do much damage at all. Look at the destroyers. Still large and in charge in the front. Up in the air. Still five destroyers remaining. DK now level five. That's a big heal from the coil. Especially good for the destros. Farsi gets level five, but what is he going to use? Wolves wouldn't do anything, and there's not much he can chain lightning anymore. He does go for the Chain Lightning. TC also got a level 5, but he's out of mana. Happy with purely Destroyers and Heroes. And one statue to heal everything up. And the expansion is going down. Focus, can he still hold it somehow? I think he has to go for Hero Kill, right? There's no way he can kill all the Destroyers. So he has to go either for the Lich 
or the DK. I'm not sure what's the better target. He's gonna try the DK. Stomp, right clicks. But there's only one stomp, nothing more. Also only a single end snare right there. And the Wyvern getting picked apart one by one. Taking out the statue is very valuable, but the DK is still fairly healthy. Not in the green range, but healthy enough to survive here without much trouble. Focus lost a lot. He lost way more. Down to 39 supply only. You could just coil the Foss here a couple of times. Yep. That's a level 3 coil. That hurts. Spool against the speed scroll. TC almost there wasn't trouble himself, but he does get away. It has to be the heroes. There are a good number of raiders now left, but the TC dies in the meantime. Coil Nova for the execute. Has to get the return now on the Death Knight, but he doesn't. Level 6 could have gone Death Pack next, and Happy does secure the game. Focus really tested him, really brought Happy to the limit. Focus did better today than I thought he would, but Happy in the end is victorious. Our first 3 2 series of the playoff stage, and that was a great game indeed.